So what's the name of your new boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Um, rumors have it that you might be moving to Dubai. We will see. Hello and welcome to Uncut, live from our studio in Dubai. The audio and visual podcast show that gives you exclusive scoop on our guests and hot topics including some of your favorite celebrities. And now, let the fun begin. Here's your host, S1. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is. Welcome back. We're back in the studio. I miss the studio, guys. Honestly, it's been crazy. I'm so happy to be here. Today with me, a very special guest all the way from Los Angeles who has been several times in the news uh, for being a naughty, naughty person. Uh, here is Kinsey. How are you? Welcome. I'm good. Thank you for having me. I'm not that naughty, okay? <laughs> well, you seem like it. You definitely seem like it. How are you? How's everything been? I am good. I'm so happy to be in Dubai. It's yeah. been so much fun. It's one of my favorite places in the world, so I've been great. I'm so happy to hear that. Um Honestly, how have you been coping with everything going on? How do you feel? Has life changed for you? Are you back to normal? Uh, life has definitely changed, I think, for everybody. But um, it's actually given me a lot more time. Usually I'm traveling full time for work. So I've, it's given me more time at home in L.A., which never happens. So I've been able to work on some big projects and, um, you know, really focus on some of my, some of my companies. So right. I think you can either make it a good thing or a bad thing with this, with everything going on. Um, so I made it a positive thing and really just like use that time at home to really focus and make myself better, make my companies better. So That's it's good. amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. When you said Dubai is one of your favorite places, what about Dubai makes it one of your favorite cities in the world? Uh, there's so much to do. And whenever I travel, I'm not the lay on the beach party. That's not really my thing. I okay. like to be adventuring, nice. doing as much as possible. And in Dubai, I mean, you have the beach, but you have the city. It's like they meet directly. Right. And they love to do everything over the top. And I love to do everything <laughs> over the top. So if I'm going to do a stunt or a prank, it's over the top. And so that's Dubai. You want to go to dinner and on a crane, you go to dinner on, hanging from right. the sky. You have the biggest building in the world. You have the aquarium. I mean, you have everything. That's so true. Um, what did you come here for? Did you come for a project, work, um, just in general, for a vacation? Yeah, I just I have so many friends um, in Dubai and we came last year to promote um, a couple companies and then they invited us back this year and Amazing. I heard you guys were open and I was excited to kind of escape LA for a little bit. Right. Um, I, I heard you got stuck in, in the Bahamas. Is that true? Yes. In the beginning of all of this in March, I got stuck in the Bahamas for like six weeks. Isn't that amazing though? <laughs> like, isn't it the perfect place? to get stuck like guys i would i would just imagine you know it couldn't get better than the bahamas well the only thing was i had just had surgery on my ankle before oh. i left to the bahamas so i was in a cast the whole time so uh. my girlfriends are swimming having a blast i couldn't swim i couldn't barely walk on the sand the sand in my cast was horrible so other than that it was amazing but it was nice to be with good friends and safe you know so right it was it, i can't complain so let's talk about your notorious uh, <laughs> championship league action that was i mean that was on the next level <laughs> what got into you first of all forget all uh, we're going to get to two sides of the story, okay, all right? Okay, okay. The positive and the negative. Got it. Now, the positive, like, you got crazy feedback from this. Whether yeah. it's positive or negative, right. I always see it as positive because, I mean... You, you think grew. all publicity is publicity? Yeah. <laughs> one I'm of one those of those people. guys. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. So, I, I think it was good. I mean, yeah. you know, look at us. We're talking about it. Um, so, obviously, it did something. Um, what got into you? What made you really want to do that? 
Um, well, I just my I live my life to the fullest. I think life is for living, and I'm I love that adrenaline feeling. Right. Um, and I also, you know, shocking the world and doing crazy things. I think societal norms are so weird. Right. I don't really conform to that. So it's like, why, you know, can't you go into the stadium and there's these walls? Why doesn't anybody? <laughs> they just don't because that's what society does. Oh, so you're one of those people, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am. So, um, and I also think that you know, as a YouTuber, as a creator, that we our job is to entertain. Hundred percent. Um, and same with sports. I think with football, soccer, um. Their job is entertainment, right? right. It, people watch for entertainment. So I think in that moment, I added to the entertainment. You felt <laughs> like you, you, they were missing that extra, extra entertainment, piece. right? Yeah. There's a, there's, there's no halftime show, <laughs> right? At the Champions League final, there's no, so there should be. I think, I think so too. So I put a you quarter how, show in there. <laughs> you know how they do the signs and boxing. Yeah. You know the ladies come in. Uh, you, you. I was a ring girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was a, a the pitch girl. girl. Exactly. That's awesome. I think we should start adding that to every football <laughs> soccer game. A pitch girl, that, right? That invades the pitch. This is why they need more women. And 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 these board members and you right. know I think I think I think it was an amazing stunt. Honestly, yeah. I love that. Super entertaining, like you've mentioned. Um, I actually had um, you know board members of the Champions League reach out to me and say that it brought so much publicity to the game that oh, was wow. a really boring game and they were really <laughs> appreciative of everything that happened They're like here's a check <laughs> yeah no I have an award in my house of my oh, seat wow. framed that a board member gave to me so That's I don't think crazy. they were upset about it <laughs> yeah I think I think because it don't was don't do a, it but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it did you get banned I, I heard you got banned from every stadium what was this I mean they never like sent me a letter that says you're banned okay. So I don't know if I am or not, but you did try to go back to stadium like Copa America. Yeah. <laughs> yep, um, that one did not work. <laughs> that one didn't work. Both of you ended up. You and Vitali went. Um, yeah, and both of you ended up going to jail. Yeah, I mean for a few. I mean, yeah, we 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 like were a few. We had a public defender. It was a few hours. Okay. It wasn't terrible, but yeah. How was that like? Do you regret it or? I have no worth? regrets in life at all. I think everything is a memory, is a story. Right. Um, it definitely is part of the adventure that I call life, you know? So <laughs> I don't regret it. You were at 230K um, before the first stunt and then you gained about over a million? Yes. How was that? Was it like, did it change your life, would you say? For sure, I think... Um, you know, you work hard as a creator to get, you know, noticed and then to be able to have people that all of a sudden support you who see your page and click right. that follow button, whatever it is that pushes you towards that. Of course. They still click that follow button. So, I mean, it's amazing. And then from there, I was able to really, you know, showcase a female in the stunt industry and a female in the comedy industry. So it was such a blessing. And then from there, I was able to, you know, just keep growing. By the way, uh, going back to um, the second attempt, you guys were disguised. Yeah. How did you get caught? Um, well, okay, so we were completely disguised. But I mean, him and I both, I mean, have more distinct faces. I mean, right. we're in Latin America. We both have light skin tones. So, I mean, you can still kind of tell a little bit, but... It was just that it was right after the Champions League. So they mm. had triple security in front of the line. Oh, so wow. that was the problem. And they were like stacked like two, tr like literally like yeah. it was a complete war zone. There was no way you're getting you through. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get hurt when they, uh, you know, tackled you down? They tackled Vitaly. Oh, they didn't, they, they were, they took it easy on you? Yeah, well, he jumped first. He was like, he was getting near the game. We're like, we're not going to make it. There's no way, you know? And he's <laughs> like, I'm just going to go. I'm done. I, I got to go. <laughs> and I was like, okay, he jumps first. And literally within seconds, eight guys on top of him. Oh my God. <laughs> and I just watch it and I'm like, okay, I'll just walk and go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um, You love pranks, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I do. And is this something you've been doing since you're a child or is this? Um, I was, I've always been very silly. 
And so I don't know if it was like actually pranks, but for sure my favorite pranks that I do are making fun of myself okay. in public, you know? So then people, other people are laughing because it's like not normal awkward. to have like, yeah. you know, awkward. So they think it's funny. So I've always done that. For sure, I love to make fun of myself and make people laugh by being silly just because people get so embarrassed and I just, I never get embarrassed by anything. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> for some of you who don't know what kind of videos Kenzie do, does, you have done videos where you're like farting in public apparently you know um doing like these weird stunts what else is a good example um i mean there's just so many but like <laughs> weird workouts in the gym and i'll just like right. go and do the craziest <laughs> things or like um I'm, I'm trying to think of which ones are my top videos um out eating out of people's grocery cart at the grocery store. Oh, so it's like yeah. just picking up and eating it and people are just like, what, what is What are going? you doing? Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. I, did, did you ever get confronted by someone who wasn't having it at all? Not really. I think that no. people, I mean, and that's what like I think I should like, that I do push a lot is just like not taking life so seriously. Like obviously be a good person, do the right things and like, right. uh, you know, I don't party or drink, so I think live a healthy lifestyle. But as far as like, people are so serious all the time and w we should be making fun of ourselves and we should be laughing and just like enjoying every second of this beautiful life. And so people really like once I talk to them, they understand, you know, I don't want to. And I always ask them, you know, after if, to use them on footage or whatever. So right. as long as you're respectful to them, I don't think it's ever been gotten bad for me. Now, what do you say? Um for people who would say you're doing this purely for the publicity you know um not for the entertainment kind of side of it uh certain stunts or you're doing it for xyz whatever reasons right. you know th there's a million haters what do you what is your answer to them um i would definitely say my answer is that i don't really like their opinion to me i don't really and like there's a million people i mean you i'm sure you know right. with everything we do somebody has an opinion of course so if i fed into all of their opinions on why they think i'm doing it right then i wouldn't be where i'm at today you know like my life is my life and i don't do anything for anybody else but like for anybody else's opinion of i course. do it because i wanted to do it or so Everybody's going to have something to say always. They're a minority anyways. Yeah, uh, exactly. They're a minority. You can't um, please everyone, you know? True, true. But I'm happy and that's what matters. <laughs> that's what matters. Yeah. Um, have, have, I, I've seen your TikTok. You've been active on it. Um, you've now surpassed over a million. Congrats. Thank you. Um, what kind of content do you feel like does best for you on TikTok? Um, I think pranks do really well. Um, stunts don't do that well on TikTok. TikTok. So any of my backflips or flying the helicopter, skydiving, all that stuff that I do that I, like I love to do more of yeah. my like, um, you know, bad woman kind of deal. Yeah. Like you know, but I think trends always. I try and do it a trend to the extreme. Okay. So if it's like, a, I don't really dance on TikTok ever. <laughs> okay. So it's mostly comedy or pranks or like following a trend, but doing it to the extreme. Okay. So if there's like a transition of an outfit change, I'll do it doing a backflip. Oh, you know? nice. To make it more extreme. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, did you feel like hesitant to enter like TikTok? Because, you know, a lot of influencers in the beginning are very, were very like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I regret it so much. I mean, they offered me a deal to be paid as a creator on TikTok over a year ago. And I was like, that's so silly. I'm not doing that. Not. And then um, I didn't get on TikTok until March of this year. Oh, wow. So that was only five, six months ago. Yeah. So six months ago, I got on TikTok and finally, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta, because everybody was growing massively and then it was converting yeah. to other platforms. So I really realized, I'm like, I have to adapt, you know, this is our job and we Smart. have to realize we always have to be with the trends and what's going on. Vine people fell off. What if one day Instagram falls off? True. You need to be on. So then I started uploading it since March every single day and, and then look, gained in five months, 1.5 million. That's crazy. And I don't push it from instagram so it's great because it's in a different audience you know it's completely separate new audience yeah and that's what you want at the end of the day to broaden your 
reach in yeah. that sense, you know? So now I've learned to actually, I actually really enjoy TikToks. I, before I was kind of offended by the, like, uh, like the no creativity, like f- copying everybody. Right. That's not a thing that you do on YouTube. You know, I don't just go copy somebody's prank idea. That's like frowned upon in the YouTube <laughs> yeah, world. True. So it, on TikTok, that's what you do. You copy somebody else's trend. So at first I was like, this is so not creative. And it's kind of like, but now I've learned how to make it creative for me. And I've, I'm having a lot of fun with it. That's good. Yeah. You did join the clubhouse. I did, yeah. Um, That's what got me on TikTok. Oh, really? I wasn't on TikTok before I moved in. Oh. Yeah. I had zero followers on TikTok when I moved in. You were forced to join TikTok. So being around them every day was such a blessing because they taught me. I I was like, I don't know how to use the app. So they taught me how to use it so much, which was great. You were there for short though, right? Yeah. How long were you there for? Um, April until June. Okay. And why did you leave? Only because like I'm at a different place in my life right now. Like I, I'm not, I don't, I don't drink. I don't do or anything like that. So being okay. like with young kids, not that any of them do drugs, but uh, like, or party. I mean, that's what you're indicating with saying that. <laughs> no, but I'm I saying mean, like. I they, mean, it's okay if that's what They're happened. young. And, they're living in yeah. a mansion. It, and it's just not even like that they drink, but it's just like I, they go, they stay up late. I work. I own multiple companies. I wake up right. every day at 6 a.m. So just being where it's loud, it was just, I it got tired for me. I'm like, I can have, I have my own house. Right. I had my own house the whole time. I was just living there for to network for, and yeah. to work. So I still had my, so I would go to my house all the time okay and then just spend the night there but it was just they're amazing people and i love them all so much and the networking was amazing it was just that i feel like i'm too old to, uh, to live that. in that environment yeah. you know makes sense yeah i mean you're young you're dumb sometimes you know yeah. how they say it. oh no totally so, i mean so so you're, you're just like experimenting doing things which... i'm just a grandma i want to be in bed at 10 p.m <laughs> and they're like hang out hang out and i felt bad not hanging out every day right so i'm like oh my god i can't do this like because then they would be able to sleep in and i just can't yeah um rumors have it that you might be moving to dubai no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know how that rumor even started. Who said it? I, well, I have my sources. <laughs> but they said you love it so much. You've been here so often. so I do love it. And, you, you know, I've thought about it. I just think okay. that... I I, mean, I think I could. I'm, I'm, I'm so such a gypsy. I could live anywhere, I think. Right. But I'm moving... Um, I am moving in January. I haven't really told anyone where I'm moving yet, but okay. so my supporters don't really know, but I am moving in January. Out of LA. Out of LA. Far from LA. Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. <laughs> All right. Is it a hot country or cold? It's hot. 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 Oh. So we're getting closer. We're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's closer to Dubai. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> Maybe I'll be in Dubai for a few months or something. I'll okay. go everywhere. That's awesome. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I want to spend more time in the Middle East for sure. So. Look, I think I think the Middle East opens up so many new doors for so many people coming out of the U.S. Um, it's so different. The culture is amazing. I've, I've loved. I've been to Jordan, Israel. Um, I want to be able to do it all in Turkey. It's 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 really the culture. I mean, I think it's so welcoming and yeah. the hospitality here is just amazing. Right? We need to get more Americans to the Middle East, I think. Yeah. And to visit and to because it's just it's amazing. Have you done any pranks in Dubai yet? No. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I don't. Um, I think that it would not be a good idea. <laughs> right. Maybe not on that level because you're extreme. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I did TikTok pranks. Okay. On my, my assistant Friends. and my videographer since yeah. they've been here. I've been pranking them a lot just for TikTok to be funny and silly. <laughs> I um, put a bunch of baby powder in my assistant's blow dryer. So when she, oh. <laughs> then I put Legos on my, when my um, videographer fell asleep last night we put legos on his feet are you serious <laughs> and then he got up you know so we've been just pr- those silly pranks but no like yeah. public pranks okay it's fun still you're doing you gotta do what you gotta do like yeah. you know just have your fun 
um, with limits. Always. And I would never want to disrespect anyone or any way. Right. So like, um, obviously it's, you know, different, difficult. So I just would never want to disrespect anyone. I mean, maybe we can work on pranking a big influencer or some, someone out here. You know? That's a good idea. We yeah. can plan something big. We'll plan something nice, big. I'll help you set it up. We, Vitaly and I were thinking of a few ideas when we were, we came, he actually told me the first time that we came that he was gonna like kidnap me and bring me to the middle of the desert like as a prank oh yeah that's that's a horrible idea <laughs> that's that's not the kind of prank i'm gonna help you with <laughs> he's he's extreme and yeah. i was like I, well he knew he knows i'm extreme too so he could have done that to me and i would have laughed at the end yeah would have been really scary but it would have been You're, funny in the end yeah. but um yeah <laughs> we gotta prank a big influencer <laughs> let's do that <laughs> um Speaking of Vitali, so you guys, um, you did put up a post that you were single. Yes. Um, I'm that officially was single Feb. for a year. Yeah. I'm f uh, no, in Feb. December. Right? We broke up. December. Last year. Oh. We went to Dubai. Okay. Um, then we went to the Maldives. Fallen, we broke up in the Maldives after, a week after Dubai last year. What happened? Um, we just, I think he's still young. Okay. Um, And... He's my best friend. You know, he'll always be my best friend. We were still on great terms. Um, so it was a really healthy breakup. And I think that he went a different direction with his career, you know. Um, you know, started doing Italian Censored, more with like women. And that was a mm. big part of his life. I mean, it's our job. And that's not really what I wanted to be around all the time. So right. it wasn't what I kind of saw for my future. And I think like some of our core values were missing. And so... It I it wasn't long like I had to make the be best decision for myself in that moment, you know. And you took the initiative to break up. Uh, I did, yeah. Okay. I did. Um, yeah. There was obviously other things. I mean, I just never like. He's a great guy, so I never want to like no, people. For sure. People know, but he, and we're not in any way. Yeah. You know trash talking anyone. right right yeah but we're just like trying to yeah. understand for your fans for his fans for everyone yeah. he um, did cheat but <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah so they are yeah i yeah. found out in the maldives um and i just i have a you know i value myself immensely yeah. and so after that it just you know and he definitely has like regretted that and he's you know came to terms with that and like i don't think that's his character at all right. so i think he made a mistake but it's still he did what he did and it yeah. cut it cuts really deep that topic personally like you know people with that experience know that it hurts it's something that yeah it's hard very hard to forgive some people do yeah. manage I personally could never, but um, yeah, it is it is you know certain things like certain characters are different, but uh, look as long as you're happy and he's happy and everyone's moving on, and I'm sure everything happens for a reason. I I completely agree. I think I I'm in a really good place right now in my life, and I'm super super happy, and I still get to have him as a really close friend, which I'm so thankful. So I think that's where we're supposed to be. Amazing. So he um, definitely, I can tell, has regretted it. He's made it very clear to me. Um, okay. He's been super apologetic and, um, you know, in so many ways, which I know that he's grown a lot from that time in his life. So I think he right. learned a lot from it, which is great. But I think um, we are better as friends. So we will probably stay that way. Well, sometimes it is better, you know. Um, for sure. Certain things happen for certain certain reasons. Um, so I am a true believer that, you know, life has its path and, you know, you should just follow it. Like, you know, exactly. I think it was a sign and, um, I'm, I'm so young and we were getting so serious. I'm, I was only 23 at the time. And so it, it's time in my life right now to focus on myself and my career and my businesses. And I wasn't doing, I was so focused on him and his companies that, um, and I was, I was doing a lot for myself too, but it just took a lot away from that. So I think it's been a beautiful year being single and, you know, not focusing on guys and just building myself up as a businesswoman and as like a person. So I'm still right. so young. I don't, I'm not looking to get married right now or do yeah. those things. So I think it was, it was meant to be, to give me the time that I needed. That's good. Um, 
So what's the name of your new boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> you see, guys, I told you. Naughty Santa is here. <laughs> no, that's great. Are you seeing someone? Uh, No one in particular. No. 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 I'm dating. Dating. I am dating. And I think that is a beautiful thing. Okay. But no one that has particularly caught my attention all right. Too much. So no. No Tell one. Us, no one you heard it here. <laughs> Whoever has been dating you recently, you're not good enough. Didn't make it. On <laughs> has they haven't made the roster yet? Okay. Okay. That's cool. Um, what are your new projects? What's in plans for 2021? Because I think we can kiss 2020 goodbye, right? Yes, we can kiss 2020 goodbye. <laughs> totally. Even though it was an amazing year for me, I got my pilot's license oh wow in quarantine Congrats. yeah my helicopter pilot's license just to add to the stunt reel so oh, i've been wow. doing that every single day during quarantine every morning for like six hours before i started work so it's been a mission but um wow. so I, I don't think 2020 was that bad because it really gave me like i always wanted right. my pilot's license i also was building my fitness line and we're working on a new show for next year so uh, I'm really excited nice. about that. Yeah. And um, when you talk about show, can you give us some more information or is it still confidential? Um, it's still confidential, but it's going to be a really, really big project um, nice. with females, a female, um, you know, empowerment kind of deal with um, stunts and pranks. Oh, we have some really big names um, on it. And I think it's going to be huge. I mean, you see shows like Jackass and Natural yes. Born Pranksters. And they're all male dominant. So this is all 100%. female lead stunt. So And I'm sure you're gonna be one of the craziest on that list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Flying yeah. the helicopter in and getting crazy. Oh my god. So are you confident with flying a helicopter right now? Uh I am. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, with myself, for sure. With yeah. my friends, I mean, I still want to be extra cautious. It's definitely right. a lot harder than you think. So oh, wow. um, it just takes a lot of time, a lot of hours. And so... So it's not just that little joystick thing. That oh, my you're... God. It's, <laughs> it's so challenging. The first time trying to hover, just stay in a hover. Oh, my gosh. I was flying back and forth. Oh, and my God. It took about 25 hours of flying before you can hover steady. Wow. Yeah. So now I'm at 85. And so I'm private pilot rated, but you need to 150 to be commercial. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to continue? For sure. Yeah. yeah. I, the second actually I land in LA, I have school the next morning at 6 a.m. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's every day. And it, it's hard because I work so much that I have yeah. to do it really early in the morning. And then I start work at like 10 a.m. and I'll finish work maybe 8 p.m. Oh, so wow. I change my eight hours to be later so I can do school in the morning. So that's why you fall asleep at 10 p.m. Yes. Well, makes that's sense. why it's hard to hang out with people, to date, yes. do anything. I'm like, this is the year of Kinsey. So. <laughs> 2021, new show. Um, we're going to be seeing her flying around in helicopters. Yes. Jumping out of helicopters. Yes. Hopefully not, not the crashing same one. any. Yeah. I can't fly and jump out of the same one. Yes, not possible. I'll figure out a way, though, because we've got some crazy stunts planned for this for this show. So oh, wow. it's going to get wild. Hopefully I don't get injured again and it'll be good. I hope you have a good safety and... Yeah, you know, we do. We do. A we good safety do. team. <laughs> um, let's play a little game. Okay. I'll say a word and you say the first thing that comes to your mind. Oh, this <laughs> is fun. Okay. Wow. I have a lot of pressure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stars. Jordan. Why did I think that? Jordan. <laughs> when I was in Jordan, I looked at the stars. So they reminds me so okay. much of Jordan. Okay. Extreme. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's the first thing I think of. Yeah. Um, vacation. Um, I'm Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Nice memories. I I haven't been, but I imagine oh. laying on the beach. Of it. Everything I travel is for work. I imagine vacation is like I'm not doing anything in Bora Bora. <laughs> Marshmallows. Nah. Ew. <laughs> 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 okay, she doesn't like marshmallows. Um, hot boys. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. 
home. Mm, Santa Monica. <laughs> nice. All right, one more. Vitali. <laughs> um, love. Love. Yeah, I mean, we shared amazing love. So even though we're over, I think it was the most beautiful. It was a beautiful time in my life, for sure. There was love, a lot of love there. That's amazing. Always love. I love that. Guys, make sure you spread love no matter what. Um, whether you were with someone, whether you're not anymore. No reason to hate them after. Exactly. They were a big part of your life. I think more people should be friends with their exes. <laughs> and that's something very rare. It's really rare and people are yeah. shocked. They assume that we still have some kind of romantic relationship because we're friends. And it's like, what what's wrong with us just... Just we, being friends. Yeah. We've never Nothing. physically touched each other since we broke up a year ago. But we're great we're friends. We're still friends, we're all, yeah. We see each other all the time. Weren't you guys friends before you started dating or was it something that you just... We met on a movie set and he was like intentional from the beginning okay um and i was just that well he wasn't my vibe i was like he's crazy you know online yeah. <laughs> i was like oh wow this is not my type uh so it took a little bit of time before i was interested did he influence influence you you and your personality a lot my personality no because no. i'm a lot different in person than my pranks or my things i think right. a lot of people are like wow you're so calm you're not crazy like yeah. you are in stunts and pranks but i'm a businesswoman and i think that he, I've always been adventurous and crazy and, and and silly and funny, but I don't, I mean, I think we just complimented, we brought it out in each other, right. but I don't think my personality has changed. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to say, Kinsey, it was amazing having you in the studio. Thank you for having me. I hope you'll be back and um, hopefully maybe we can reveal certain things first here, you know, give them some exclusives um anytime you're most welcome back and it was amazing having you thank you so much thank you for listening guys thank you so much guys if you're listening to the audio make sure you check out our visuals on youtube uncut with us one and yeah she looks beautiful so make sure you check her out <laughs> and also her social media page will be in the description thank you guys for tuning in and we will be back very soon peace